Yo, what is going on speedsters? Let's speed run into this video. So in today's video guys, I'll be breaking down the Colossus Javelin. So specifically to the Colossus Javelin, it cannot use the two smallest weapon types in the game, pistols and SMGs, but it is sturdy enough to wield the heaviest of weapons in the game. Now I'll be going in depth into the abilities and gear that Colossus have, first starting off with the melee ability called Heavy Smash. And this entails Colossus using its massive chassis as a weapon in either a diving smash attack from the air or a hammer melee attack. This not only clears out your smaller and weaker enemies, but it knocks down and leaves follow up attacks for your bigger and heavier foes. Along with that, the gear has three parts. And one of the parts is the ordnance launcher gear, which entails the strength of Colossus in its shoulder mounted weapons. So the first part of the weapon is the high explosive mortar which launches an explosive projectile that deals heavy damage over an area. Next there's a burst mortar which fires a volley of smaller mortars that spread out over a wider area. Next there's a firewall mortar which fires a specialized mortar round that ignites a wall of flame and this heavily damages the enemies that try to move through it. Then there's the lightning coil which strikes a single random target with an arc of electricity in front of Colossus. Lastly we have the shock coil which emits waves of electricity from Colossus damaging all nearby enemies. Going into the next part of the gear is the heavy assault launcher gear and this entails the wrist mounted weapons of Colossus. So the first is a heavy weapon and is the heavy cannon and this fires a large rocket in a targeted direction. Then there's a flamethrower which unleashes a continuous stream of fire to ignite enemies. Then there's the flat cannon which barrages nearby enemies with a short range arc of projectiles. Then comes the rail gun which devastates a single target with a forceful and precise kinetic round. Lastly there's the acid spitter which expels an acid projectile to damage enemies. Going into the gear, which is for support, the Colossus is like a battle tank. And the first part of the support gear is Taunt, which forces all enemies within a certain radius to divert their attacks to Colossus. So basically, you're tanking for your team or just tanking in general. And the next part is the Deflector Pulse, which gives all nearby allies a damage resistance buff. So basically all your teammates can take more damage within this area or while you're using this special ability or support gear. So the last part is the ultimate ability of Colossus and this is called the Siege Cannon. So in general, Lancers can deploy a special ultimate ability that displays their true strength of their Javelin. And in this case, the Siege Cannon is ideal for clearing out smaller enemies, controlling enemies in a choke point, or putting some extra damage on a boss. And with the focus of damage and explosive power, Colossus is a favorite among freelancers, who favorite brute force solutions for their problems. Whether you need a straightforward approach for a mission, or you just like it a little roomier, Colossus is an amazing addition to your javelin arsenal. So if you guys like this video, comment down below what you guys want for the next video make sure you guys leave a like button and subscribe for more future content so until next time guys speedsters i will see you next peace out